Sniper. Sniper. Hey, what up? It's your boy Rose Golden Sniper back again with another video. And um uh, this time around you see I'm in the Benz AMG GT Rose Gold, of course, man. All I mean all my cars ain't Rose Gold now, but most of my cars are Rose Gold. <laughs> but yeah, man, here I am right here online. This is all drive mode, which is pretty much just like free wrong for those of you who don't know of this mode. As you can see, guys fucking around, crashing each other's cars and shit. That shit happens a lot on here, you know. But it is what it is, man. Like, you know, it's a video game, so it is what it is. I'm just love looking at this car. This Benz is absolutely beautiful, man. And feel free to like this video if you agree. But I also love the sound of this car. And. I just I just want to say something about I just want to talk about this this game mode a little bit in comparison to like the other Need for Speeds and the online experiences that I've had with them like uh, I'm gonna start with Rivals I play Need for Speed Rivals and I like how that game is online it's pretty much free roam and there's police everywhere and I just kind of feel like that's the one thing this online experience is missing it's just the police man where the fuck are the police at like the police would make this game so much more exciting in a way you know because it's like fuck the police so i just think the police just makes everything exciting man in every game And they do have police on this game, but online I haven't seen not one cop. And it's just like, fuck, sometimes it can make things a little boring, but hey man, it is what it is. Hopefully, hopefully if enough of the community push for this, we could we could get more police and update or something. Oh wow, that was a near near miss right there. <laughs> but that shit was pretty cool. As you can see everybody's just having fun on here man it's all about showing your cars off and just enjoying everything uh, but yeah I really feel like there should be police adding into that all drive uh, this next clip I'm gonna get into this this is me driving the uh, the back this is the back f-132 uh, designed by Aaron Beck who is an awesome designer and this car first debuted in Need for Speed 2015 and this car is fucking amazing man especially in Need for Speed 2015 this was the most expensive car on that game and it was the last car in the list and I feel like uh, I feel like the fact that this car was added back into this game was a great idea and um I had to get it <laughs> so of course you know it's rose gold and right here I'm just cruising around I got a minute left before this speed list starts but you know that's the thing I love about this online experience this year is that you can drive and like cruise around a lot more freely before events uh, after events whatever but in the previous games like 2015 they kind of made the speed list like the speed list in 2015 was good I really liked it but I see like the things that are added in this one that's a little bit better like um, I'll say this for example like in 15 I don't remember having the ability to just be this free before a race but I think that that cutscene that was the end of the speed list in 2015 is something they should have kept in this game but it's all right, man. You know they they gotta switch it up. They want to have a new, totally refreshed game. And I understand that. It works in a sense. So anyway, let's get to this first race. <laughs> right here, I'm spinning this guy out. Fuck him. <laughs> and um, only four guys in this event. This is this is shocking to me, but I like it. I'm not complaining though. 
Oh damn, there's another guy just joined, but he's not in the race there in free roam. Oh, so there's actually three guys in this race. But um, this event right here was me just really testing the back out, trying to see how well it will perform online. I know in 2015 it performed very well online because in that game it's not <clears throat> it's not all about like the speed but it's more about how fast you can get in and out of turns and how well your car can handle and on this game as you can see I'm drifting the fuck out of the back I remember in the last game in 2015 it was really hard to drift the back but those of you who are skilled at Need for Speed and have been playing Need for Speed for a while, I'm pretty sure you had no problem doing that. But um, on this game, I just feel like everything is easier to drift. And um, that goes for all the cars, not just not just this one. But this car definitely feels like it has the best downforce to me. It feels like it has uh, sharper turns than most of the other cars and it has to be because of the frame on this thing if you just look at how wide the wheels are and how fat those tires are it is just made to do this type of shit but even though the drift mechanics are really kind of weird on this game it's it's an arcade game so come on guys let's, let's not complain about that too much I, I actually enjoy that but um as you can see guys right here I am just taking this this W right here down the last 500 yards this first race is all mine the back has proven to be far more superior than the other cars these guys have I don't even know what are the cars that these guys have but we're about to find out at the end let's see what the speed card is acceleration do I need that ah it's a big sacrifice though so nah I don't think I'm gonna take it reducing speed nitrous and brakes hell nah Oh, so I was racing against an R8 V10 and a Fair Lady, which is actually a derelict. So that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, that back just totally destroyed those guys. We had a lot more racers joining this time around. Um, I think I've seen a Koenigsegg Regera, which is definitely the fastest car in straight line speed. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this next race. Um, let's go. Getting things started, me and the Audi R8 starting off in the front. That was weird, <laughs> whatever glitch that was. But hey, I'm still in front. Everybody's crashing and shit in the beginning. I'm, I love when they start me in the front of the race because they don't have to worry about dodging people. But as you can just see, like the acceleration on this thing is amazing. And I have, of course, I have the special uh, rainbow nitrous effect if anybody was wondering. But yeah, man. This car is just tearing this fucking race up. You can just hear those tires screeching like crazy. And every turn that I feel like I'm coming out up too slow, I'm not just boosting to catch up. Right here, I almost nearly smacked that rock. I'm like, no, let's keep it together. Totally kept that together. And just trying to have a clean race, you know, because when you're online, you don't have a lot of room for mistakes. You can't. You can't make a lot of mistakes, especially ones that'll allow you to crash and then you have to reset and all of this BS. All of that not only kills your time, but it'll kill your, your place in the race. And online, it's pretty hard to come back once you're all the way at the bottom. As you can see for the guy that's about 5,000 yards behind everybody, but... <laughs> right here guys you can see I'm just going fucking ham on everybody in this race I I am fully aware during this race that there is a Koenigsegg Regera so that's exactly why you see me nitrous blasting like every chance I get like I don't even let my nitrous refill all the way because I don't want to give that Koenigsegg any chance to catch up most likely that driver isn't a good driver but if he was a good driver I still wouldn't want to give him any chance to catch up when I'm this far ahead so just trying to keep the pressure on and beat these guys um, right here coming down to the last stretch we're going to take this W2 as you can see the bag just annihilated these guys man and this is definitely one of my favorite cars on this game but once again guys if you enjoy these videos like and subscribe thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time later